Palette separating for Mujin sprites. We're going to talk about that today. I'm going to bring up Fighter Factory. Good old Fighter Factory. But also we're going to bring up our game files. And we're going to, first of all, back up our character. Because we're going to be permanently editing the sprites that we have in our character. So I'm going to put this into an RAR file. You might put it into a zip file, uh, or you can just go ahead, make a new folder, call it whatever you want. Grab everything, copy, and paste everything in there, and boom. Because you never know. All right. So we got Guy all backed up. He's ready to go right here. I'm going to open up his files. And we're going to look at his sprites. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to separate his skin from... Um, we're, we're going to give it new colors. That way we can give him new outfits. Um... There will be other things that you could do with this too, uh, but we're just kind of focusing on giving him a shirt and pants today. I'm going to go over here and click on open the image editor. And then I'm going to click on this button here that says show and hide the organizer. Uh, organizer. And this brings up his colors. So we're going to grab the eyedropper and find out what these colors are or where their locations are. So I'm going to click the light one here. We can see the light one just showed up right over there. So we got that, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Looks like five skin tones. So here they all are. One, two, three, four, five. Five skin tones. We're going to go ahead and give him this um, green color pants for a shirt. So we're going to make it, we're going to give him a green shirt based on his pants, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and find where these colors are. Looks like the first one's right here. One, two, three, four. So there's four colors in his shirt, or his pants, I should say. And then we have this fifth skin color here. We'll mess with that in a little bit. But for now, we're just going to mess with the main skin tone. So let's get our color gun here. And we're going to start loading up our color gun. So we have five skin tones. What I'm going to do is I'm only going to put in the first four because this the pants here only have four colors. So that's what we want to focus on. Let's go ahead and start putting those in. So put these in. We start over here on the left hand corner and we click the left furthest box. These are all boxes. These are all a whole bunch of boxes. If you're using an a older Fighter Factory, you'll have maybe eight boxes to work with. Uh, the newest Fighter Factory has way more, so uh, it all depends on your project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to left click this color. Boom. So you can see the color is moved over here and it's loaded up in our color gun. We're going to go ahead and left click. And left click. And left click. Okay, so now we're going to put in the colors for the pants. So we're going to left click underneath the color that we already selected. And then we're going to go over here and then right click. This is important. Left click is going to be these colors, the skin. And right click is going to be the pants. We're basically swapping out colors as... As we put as as we drag the cursor across his body, let's go ahead and put that in. Right click. And 
right click and right click. Okay, that's where the fun begins. Gonna make this a little bit bigger. Actually, I'm gonna make it way bigger. This here is the size of the cursor. And if you just want to change the color of the whole character, of all of his skin, you just make this cursor really huge. And boom. That's not what I intended, but <laughs> this shows the, the power that you have. His whole outfit is now skin color. Pretty amazing, right? Boom. Now his all his skin is all his shorts color. All right, so you can see how we just swap out colors and we just kind of had fun with it uh, from from this point on. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Oh, whoa, way too big, way too big. All right, so I'm holding down left click right now. You can see as we go, we're going to be swapping out colors. And this is where you coloring in a coloring book years ago becomes suddenly very, very important. And there we go. He now has a shirt. Now, of course, we didn't add in the fifth color, which is his skin tone. So these would be like straight black if we were to add that in. And we're going to go ahead and do an example of that in a moment. Uh, so there it is. Uh, he, he now has a shirt. So we're going to take out these colors and do this over again. To clear out these colors, what you need to do is you need to click one of these boxes, go here to the first color and hit left and then right. And you can see it selects the transparent color and basically you're cleaning your palette. You're, you're cleaning your brush. You're, you're taking your color bullets out. You're unloading. Okay. There we go. All clean again. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and put the skin back in. So I want this on left click. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. And now we're going to add in a new color. So let's just go ahead and go with red. And I'm going to pick over in this section where there's no colors. It's all green, green, pink. And there's a couple of other colors that are used that are super, super bright. And those are used to basically see if, um, if there's a mistake somewhere. So if you're playing the game and you see like this bright green come up somewhere, you know, there's a problem with the sprites. And basically means these sections are not being used at all. So we're going to go ahead and change a lot of these to some reds. Now he's got, he's got five colors in his skin, so we need five reds. Okay, we got our five reds. Let's get our color gun again. And we're going to start right clicking these colors in from brightest to darkest. Three, four, five. There we go. All right. So as I go here, I should be changing his legs red. There we go. We've swapped it out. So you could do a lot of things with this. Mostly it's closed, but also sometimes you do need to try and fix some things that uh, there could be some problems with sprites that there's some sort of like damage that had happened with them. Let's see that look. Uh, this here, this here, 
we go. Give him some armbands. And um we'll we'll raise his socks up a bit higher here. And then we can turn it green, a part of his outfit, make them just go up here a little bit higher. If I want, I can put in, you know, I can get in really, really detailed and just put extra stripes in his clothing. I don't have the, do I have the skin? Yeah, I do have the skin. It's just dark red. We're not seeing it. It's it's so dark that we are not seeing it. There we go. Uh, maybe here. Maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah, we can start giving all of this more detail as we go. All right, so that's basically how you do palette separating for Mujin or for just sprites in general. Uh, it doesn't even have to be for Mujin. You could put any sprites in here and use it for whatever project that you want. From here, what you do is you want to save And save it to a file. So we're going to save it to Act 1. Boom. So what we're doing is we're saving these five colors. We're uh, in this palette. So this character, the, the editing that you do here is going to show up. If we switch to a different palette, you can see that it's swapped, uh, it, it's, it shows the green that we had here before. And now everything is green. So what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and start adding in colors for this palette. We're gonna go ahead and make this blue. Blue. So you can see all the detail that we put in is now put in, and it is blue. We go over here, and we save the palette. We're on 1-2. Let's just go ahead and save it on 1-2. And now we're on Act 2. 